guys so today I just wanted to kind of give you a little update I have actually not been doing so well recently and I have been having a lot of trouble with anxiety and um, just with this whole <sighs> Tylenol restriction uh, I understand why they did it and I understand that for people that are overusing their medication or abusing their medication, they're just going to buy more. But for us people that take it as our doctor directed and don't take more of it than should be allowed in one day, it really freaking sucks. So I, I am lucky in that I don't take um, pain medication every single day so I don't know what people are doing now that do that but for me I just take it when things are really bad that's it so for me it was highly effective because for some unknown reason the mystery of my body I don't actually respond to ibuprofen or leave or or whatever all of those types of painkillers are. Um, acetaminophen is my jam. Tylenol has always been my thing. Um, it's I actually don't take any sleep medication, Ambien, Lunesta. All that stuff is trash to me. It does not do one single thing other than agitate the crap out of me and make me stay awake for much longer. But like, frantic. Um, but if I take a Tylenol PM, much better experience. And also, if I take the, I sh there's like, it's like called like something, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the Tylenol PM without the Tylenol, and it doesn't work for me. So, um, the Tylenol paired with things works great for me. And I like taking what my doctor prescribes me. So, this new medication and trying to figure out how to take other, like how much Tylenol do I take with my medication now, and it's very frustrating and confusing for me. And I was on a, good, a pretty good pain management path, but now it's all been crushed, knocked to the side. Also, the medication, I think I've mentioned this, but now that I'm raging, I um, was taking Fioraset uh, on the onset, onset, what? just made up a word, I got so freaking ragey, um, on the onset of a, I don't, when you've had migraines for a very long time, you know, like when you get those headaches, you're like, nope, this is going to turn into a migraine, so you can nip them at the bud and just get them down really quickly. Usually they're tension headaches for me that turn into migraines. So the manufacturer just decided to just stop manufacturing it. And you say, well, Emily, you can get generic or you can get a different manufacturer. And I say, this must be your first video watching. <laughs> My body is very sensitive to medications and I can't explain it. I don't even know if like, it's possible, but I mean, all I do know is it is possible because it freaking happens to me. But if I take a generic of something, it could absolutely not work at all. And then I take the brand and it works great. Sometimes I take the brand and it's kind of sucky. And sometimes I take the generic and it works a lot better for me. It doesn't make any sense. Neither does fibro or most diseases or illnesses or addictions or pretty much anything else. It doesn't make sense. That happens in the brain, which is everything. So, um, but yeah, so another one of my medications, I have to find a substitute for. And what it was is uh, it was like part muscle relaxant, part, I think acetaminophen and part caffeine. Because caffeine, I know, I'm not, a lot, not a lot of people know this because they associate caffeine headaches but actually people with migraines, like migraine, migraine, like the et cetera and migraine just has caffeine in it. So, um, I would, but I had to be really careful with that because of my insomnia, but 
it was truly the only thing like when I was in full on migraine mode if I took one of those it was the only thing that would settle it down but now I have to find something else so now it's back to that like juggling act again it's like which medications do you want to put together do you want like the muscle relaxant and the acetaminophen or do you want like muscle relaxant and the caffeine and then just take some and I'm just like I don't know just I'll have a soda with some caffeine in it I don't I don't know I don't know because the thing is that once my body gets worked up I generally can't get other things into it so it's usually like if I have a migraine I can't usually sip on a soda to get the caffeine from it so it's just really frustrating and um, I, as all of you probably know everyone in the world like it sucks trying new medications let alone medications that are super strong and have super strong side effects so I feel much better so that's what I've been doing and then I've had a lot of anxiety because of it and just throwing off every like when I'm sleeping and when I'm how long it takes to wake up and it's just sucky okay so I just wanted to update you guys on that a little bit while saying hello I hope you're having a pain free stress free day and as always I will talk to you tomorrow bye